when I was doing Die Hard, Pulp Fiction came out. So Bruce and I flew from here to Cannes to watch Pulp Fiction. I was like, damn, this movie's fucking good. Look at this. <laughs> you know, and Bruce was, yeah, it's good, but this movie's going to make you a star. I'm like, what are you talking about? He said, Die Hard's going to be the highest grossing movie in the world next year. And it was. And we did this thing we're doing now. We did this tour. And all of a sudden, people in all kinds of countries knew who I was that didn't know who I was before. Okay, you're scaring me a little bit. I'm trying to stay in my bubble. I don't want to be freaked out. Fuck that. Your bubble's burst. <laughs> Can I you're go? You're a blockbuster now. Well, that's you what guys happens. all saw it so, here. It was on film. I mean, that's the thing that happens. I mean, you, you do a film that is huge, and people in little places that didn't see room or don't know anything about all the other stuff that you've done are going to know that you did this, and you become that King Kong woman, blah, 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 and you become a big movie face. You're somebody who can put asses in seats. Can I challenge that, though, for a second? Because when no. I... Oh, <laughs> I know exactly Never what I'm talking about. With Samuel. Uh, so, but wait, when it comes to Die Hard and Pulp Fiction, you know, I feel like Pulp Fiction reverberated a lot longer, and people actually know you for the character of Jules, maybe who initially saw Die Hard 3, but Die Hard 3, while it may have been the highest grossing movie of the year, Pulp Fiction has, is watched over and over and over again by generations, as is Die Hard probably. Yes, but it I think, is. Because but every year, people, a well, certain group of people become of age to see Pulp Fiction, and they realize it's the coolest movie that's ever been made. Tr true. <laughs> so I get a whole new group of fans every year. I get like five million new fans every year. But how but often do you hear... every time Die Hard with a Vengeance comes on, or if you say to people, what's the best Die Hard? They'll go, well, Die Hard and then Die Hard with a Vengeance. Yeah. But anytime Die Hard with a Vengeance is on, my Twitter feed is full of people watching that shit because they watch it. And anytime I'm passing it, I stop and watch it too. <laughs> How often does Die Hard with a Vengeance get quoted to you versus how often does Jules get quoted All to you? All the time. Really? Wait. Yeah. Zeus, not Jesus, Zeus, as in I'll shove a lightning bolt up your ass, motherfucker. <laughs> I get that one. So that's my quote. Can I just say? I have gangs of t-shirt lines in movies. <laughs> I'm the t-shirt line guy. Can I just say, I want to have this conversation for the rest of the day. <laughs> this is the best conversation yeah, I've had right. in a long time. <laughs>